So a lot of people have probably run into this screen over the last day or so, and we were following along and wanted to see what it would look like for Devin as an AI assistant to try and help people with this issue. And so here, we've set up a, an instance that we have tried to make as close as possible to what a real bricked machine would look like at the time of the crash. And here, Stephen's asking Devin to go ahead and try and recover this machine. We're using something here called a playbook, which you can kind of think of as programming in plain English. And so these steps here, you know, shut down the target machine, detach the root volume, create a new machine in the same availability zone. All of these are taken pretty much directly from the CrowdStrike official guidance. And this is a way to give Devin a little bit more scaffolding, right? And so each of these decisions is going to, each of these steps is going to involve a lot more decisions. It's going to involve details to get right and so on. But this, um, this makes the steps a little bit more direct and, and helps you tell Devin exactly what you're looking for. And here Devin says, okay, got it. I'll start with shutting down the machine and then I'll proceed with the rest of the steps and I'll keep you updated on the progress. And from here, Devin goes ahead and just works on it the same way that a human would. And so Devin has access to the credentials. Devin can check on the version number, can check through the configurations, starts by shutting down the machine um, and, and going through it all. You can see here in particular, Devin is using something called knowledge, um, which is essentially a way for Devin to learn and grow over time. And so if you see Devin making mistakes or if there's something that you want Devin to know about your environment that you know, affects all the future runs as well, then you can create this knowledge for Devin or you can have Devin auto-generate the knowledge based on a previous run. And Devin will use this and retain this and be able to you know, apply it to all of its future runs. And so here are some of these instructions of how to work with Docker or particular security groups, for example, Devin is able to access while it's doing this task. And so from here, Devin keeps going. And you know, I'll, I'll go quickly through these steps. Um, we're going to share the full run so that you all can see every single step in, in detail. Um, but here, Devin's going through, you know, sets up the new Ubuntu machine, um, mounts the drive. And then in particular, Devin runs this command to remove all of the culprit files, runs ls again to make sure they're not there anymore, and then detaches it from the Ubuntu machine, attaches it back to the original machine, starts the machine up, and then we're done. And so Devin does, does this all in about eight or nine minutes. And you can see here you know, that obviously these, these steps, if you had just one machine, you know, maybe it would make sense to, to go ahead and do, do them yourself and get the machine up by yourself. But if you have 100 machines or 1,000 machines or 10,000 machines, then you know, Devin can really take on this repetitive task and free you up to do a lot more of the, the more exciting part of software engineering and of DevOps. And we've seen a lot of real use cases in migration or in modernization or in replatforming where you know, code bases with hundreds or thousands of files benefit a lot from being able to use Devin to help with the more tedious parts of their work.